Vienna has just given me quite a um, high um, status here, calling me the clean nine queen, but it was really the clean nine um, which got me into the business. So how it all started was last July, um, I decided to give the clean nine a go because I had suffered from insomnia and sleep issues for many, many years and I had tried many things, um, right from lavender oil and um, chamomile um, to TCM um, to even acupuncture. So I think uh, the only thing that I was left to try was to actually be hypnotized <laughs> and see if uh, that would work. But the clean nine actually came to my rescue and after doing the clean night last July, um, my sleep issues uh, literally turned 360 degrees and um, I've never s slept better since. So it's really, really improved for me. So for me, doing the clean night was not because of weight loss. And that's one of the things which I try and highlight to my customers that whilst um, this product, this fabulous product, has been coined a weight loss product, it has so many other benefits. Um, which you know you should expose to your customer base and you should be aware of. So I'm just going to share with you some of the retail tips um, that have helped me be quite successful with uh, selling the Clean Nine. Um, and you know, uh, one of my very good months was last November. I sold personally 29 Clean Nines. Woo! So I just want to share with you what I did. So, um, firstly, you know, um, don't only promote the Clean Nine as a weight loss product. You know, be clear on all of its benefits. Um, and, you know, then you can promote it to your customers, you know, the people that you talk to accordingly. As you can see, there's a number of benefits. Um, you know, my one was insomnia, but right from, you know, brain fog, low energy, indigestion problems, you know, constipation, um, seasonal allergies. Clean Nine can really help address more than just weight loss, and not everyone is looking for weight loss, so let's not just promote this and the whole fit range as weight loss. There's many, many um, benefits to it. Really become a subject matter expert. You know, what I mean by that is do the Clean Nine. So like I said, it's not just for weight loss, but do it to give your body that recharge, um, you know, that boost. So for me, I do it every at least six, four to six months. So I will be doing my third clean nine next month when my mum visits me from the UK and we'll be doing it together. She's 70 years old and she did her clean nine last November. So there is no age limit here um, really in doing the clean nine. Anyone can do it if they're reasonably fit and healthy. Um, so really become a subject matter expert and, you know, for me, sharing authentic testimonials and feedback, I think, um, you know, really goes without saying. So if, um, if you know anyone who's done the Clean Nine and you haven't personally done it, then get them to share, you know, their stories with you and ask them if you can, if they're happy for you to then share that on, you know, to, to people that you're speaking to. Because obviously when I first started, I didn't really know anyone that had done the Clean Nine prior to me doing it. So it's something that you need to research, you need to talk to people within, you know, um, your forever network and see what you can collect in terms of, you know, very authentic testimonials and feedback. So that would be um, another key point. Um, this, this is some positive feedback, you know, um, which again I've shared. I collect it from all the people that, you know, have done the Clean Nine or tried it off of me. Or if I know someone, you know, in other countries and they won't mind sharing it. Because, you know, sharing positive feedback, it, it's just, you know, you can talk about it as much as you want in the media, or you can put very nice flyers and posters together, but sharing authentic testimonials and feedback really promotes customer engagement. You know, it's a very unbiased way of advertising. Um, consumer recommendations are trusted recommendations. So for example, you know, if a girlfriend or some a colleague was to recommend a great movie or restaurant to go to, then you'll probably, you know, you'll take note and you'll want to try going there. So really, those are very unbiased, trusted recommendations. And obviously that will help boost your retail performance. Um, for me also, uh, what I tend to do is I create a bit of a time critical 
and criteria-based um, offers. And what I mean by that is when I'm promoting the Clean Nine, for example, I have my Facebook group or um, a bunch of people that I'm communicating with, for example. So I create these time-critical and criteria-based offers. The time-critical would be something like, okay, so this month I'm looking for five people because I have a fantastic offer for these five people only that I'm gonna be um, giving them you know, 15% discount, for example. Um, you know, I will be giving them dedicated one-to-one -one support whilst they're doing the clean line. Um, I'll give them some free um, recipes, uh, low-calorie recipes, that kind of thing. Obviously, I'm not going to just give it to five people, but that creates this sense of urgency that people want to be one of those five people that get this wealth of value-added extras on top of the clean line, on top of the product that they're going to be buying. Um, what is also a good idea is create, you know, as you start getting testimonials and people sharing stories, maybe create uh, another Facebook group purely for, you know, clean line and your fit plan users. And, you know, that could be a secret group on Facebook. And, you know, everyone wants to be part of a secret group and know what's going on. And, you know, where you're posting, it's kind of a community where you're sharing um, a lot of information. And if you, if you go ahead and tell someone, a customer that's thinking about the clean line, you know, I'll add you to the secret group. You're almost, what you're encouraging that person, uh, for that person is that you're, you know, you're going to be supporting them almost like a personal trainer would give you that undivided attention for those nine days. You know, that is what you are going ahead. So they're not just buying a product from you, they're buying a package, you know, and that really adds weight and value. Um, and obviously it just provides excellent customer care and customer service as well. Um, these next two slides are more about you know, the media publication and how you know, the media and certain celebrities have actually endorsed the Clean Nine. As most of these publications are probably you know, um, well known in, in the UK and, and Europe, but you know, we've got you know, like women's magazines, there's the Cosmopolitan, which is a worldwide magazine, um, and you know, um, even the rich and famous are using aloe vera. So you know, uh, this really helped me when I was sharing about um, what the Clean Nine is with a particular customer, that I would share some media snippets with them, so they can actually see that this is a global-wide product. You know, and you know, this isn't something that's just passing phase, some crazy um, diet, you know, it is, um, it's a very um, well-endorsed product, you know, it's not just Forever Living who are talking about it and, you know, are, are the SBOs, you know, it's been featured in wellness magazines, diet magazines, health, fitness, um, consumer type magazines, so it is, um, has received media attention as well in a very positive way. Um, another thing that me and uh, my team really, well, we don't enjoy doing, but we do it anyway, is we love to document ourselves when we're doing our clean nine and, you know, diarize it. So this is basically um, a few times when I've, when I've done the clean nine, I've gone on my day one, day two, which tends to be a bit difficult, and then a wrap up on day three. And, you know, this is Jenny here, who's sitting over here. She's another clean nine queen. Um, how we're looking, how we're feeling, and we're actually doing the clean line as well. We're not just pushing people to do it, we've done it, and to kind of, sh we share our story, our journey with them. And when we promote this, we promote it on our own Facebook page, and we then ask our friends to share it, promote it on there, so obviously it goes viral. So, you know, really try and, you know, get your phone, get a nice location, you know, somewhere. We've got great weather in Singapore, unlike UK, and really just, you know, a two, three minute video of, you know, sharing. It doesn't have to even be the clean nine. It could be any product. But, you know, video diaries, video um, sort of exposure is, is, is really popular these days and they work really, really well. So, yeah, encourage your team and do these yourself. And then the common question really that I get asked a lot of times is, you know, uh, the cost. You know, and when someone talks about the cost of a clean line, I always try and break it down for them. Now, you know, um, the clean line at the moment, you know, where it's been repackaged and now it's obviously in the blister and the pouch um, packaging. When I sold my clean lines in November and January this last year, and you know, I was hitting sort of 29 to 30, 
That was at a time when the clean line was actually retailing for about 350 plus, right? Even at that time, I managed to sell them because I'd break down how much the person would typically spend on breakfast, coffee, lunch, dinner, weekend socializing, you know, typically in those nine days, and how much obviously the clean night works out to if you divide it by nine days. And, you know, obviously the, a, big, a big cost element in this is that someone drinks alcohol, obviously, you know, um, the cost will be higher, but typically you'll find the price is on par, meaning it's equal to what you would be spending anyway. So really try and get your customer to see the benefits of, you know, not that only that the, what they're gonna be paying for the clean line kind of works out on average what they'll be spending typically on their nine days of eating and drinking, but obviously, you know, um, would they rather pollute their body with all this junk or do nine days of you know a health investment to themselves and then you know really feel the benefits and the value. So you know it's really trying to make your customers aware of, of this. Um, remind them that the clean nine is an investment to their health. The benefits always outweigh the cost. You cannot put a value on good health. Yes. You know. Um, again, you know, encourage your customers, talk to them and tell them it's an endorsed product by doctors, you know, Dr. Peter Atherton, world-renowned aloe vera medicinal doctor, you know, and has been put together by nutritionists. It's not some fad diet, you know, it's quality safe, it's a healthy cleanse, you know, this really adds value and brings trust between you and, you know, your product and what you're selling your product, you know, to your customer. Um, this other point, um, sort of down below, in terms of offering a payment plan, I haven't personally had to do this ever, but it works very well in the UK. It may be something you may want to consider. Um, I'm not overly promoting it because I haven't had to do it, but you know, for example, you could offer a payment plan to you know your customers that they pay you, um, you know, a payment um, split into three months. They pay you for the first two months, and then on the third month you'll get the clean line ordered. You know, they could spread the cost. You know, try and be creative. You know, if cost is such an issue for people, but you know, obviously where the price has dropped now with the clean line, it should be much easier if that was one of the issues that you had back when we had, uh, the price was obviously higher. Um, and always obviously look at signing them up and offering that 15% discount because you know, that, that is, that's probably the best route and that's the route that I took when I joined as well. Um, and always, you know, again, if you're struggling and, you know, the cost isn't working for them, always try and look for an alternative. If their weight loss is what they're after, then look at an alternative, like a bundle package. You know, we've got some great um, products in the form of Garcinia, and bee pollen and shape. But that could be, you know, a weight loss bundle package that you could offer as an alternative to the clean nine. Um, you know, uh, so, so always look at work around solutions. Um, always, always, always keep in touch with your, you know, your, your customers, even if they buy the clean line off you, um, or they don't, because if they've been quiet once, it shows that they are interested. The fortune is always, always in the follow-up. I've had so many people that I've gone back and connected with again, and they've said, hey, you know, um, thank you for getting back in touch with me, I completely forgot, yes. Uh, can you remind me again what this product is? And then you have to share everything again, but it still then wins a sale, you know? So always follow up, even with those no's. Um, I hope you found this useful. Um, thank you very much.